Hey, it's Mike Rossa, Film Photography Podcast, at Mr. Lee's, with John Fidelli, but John Fidelli's behind the camera. So, yeah, there's John. And today, I just went and picked up from a uh, camera seller a brownie bullseye, Kodak brownie bullseye. And this is a 1954 camera. This was part of an inventory at a camera store closeout. Oh, sure. Great. Miso soup. Mmm. And uh, a lot of people ask, Well, you know, can I shoot with a camera like this? Because there are so many on ebay.com. And yes, you can. Uh, and from looking up on the internet, looking up on the internet, uh, I usually put a little cheat sheet on the bottom of each camera that I purchase. Uh, this camera has an F11. It's one fiftieth of a second, and it takes 620 film. And today, I'm going to be loading a roll of Tower black and white 620 film. Tower was the Sears brand film. Now, 620 film is no longer manufactured, but you can buy it on eBay. Just do a search in Google. And this film expired in October of 1963. Now, you may say, hey, Mike, is, that, is this film going to be any good? Well, black and white film traditionally is a very stable film, and I'm going to guess and bet that this film will be just fine. Most of the time when you buy an old camera, the take-up spool is usually there. In this case, it is. Here's the take-up spool. Here's where our film is going to go. And the great thing about this camera is it produces a very large 6x9 negative or transparency. This is actually the area that's going to be exposed when we shoot our image. Pretty cool. Wow. So you put your roll of film here. Snaps right it's in. big gorilla mitts out of the way. <laughs> Snaps right in. And then you take your the end of it here, flap, and then you just guide it. Guide it right over the, the plane here. Look at that. That's, and then you put it in right here. It's a little flap where you can put the end. And then you start rolling. Look at that. Roll another one. That was pretty simple. Yeah, it, it's really simple. Look at that. And now you line up your arrows. I usually put a little pressure on the actual uh, film spool just so that it's, it's nice and nice and tight. You take your lid and you open, close, close it. And on the back of your camera there's a little red window and in that window we're going to see the film. We're looking for the number one. And I'm rolling right now. Number one. <laughs> Not Lee number one. Yeah, you see, see that? Not really. Okay, well. I think so. Yeah, yeah here we go. More towards the window. And this. More this way. Oh, okay, there good. You there you go. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for number one. No. It's coming up. There's a lot of leader. There it is. <gasps> number one. This is your focus. And Kodak, you know, they try to make things easy as possible close ups, groups, scenes but they're also measured in feet as well. And then you have a choice of instant picture, which is snapping a picture, or long, which is basically... Long exposure? Yeah, as long as you keep this depressed, the shutter will be open. Oh, nice. So, so we're indoors, and this particular set came with a Kodak Podolite 4 flash holder. Codalite. And this uh, screws on the side of the camera. You've had experience with this before, huh? I, I have. And and most of the Kodak flashes will, are interchangeable with any of their brownies. I'm, I've noticed that. And this particular flash takes a, a different... This flash takes a bunch of different bulbs, but I have with me today the Press 25 bulb. And it kind of just snaps, kind of just, you know, snaps in. And now we're ready to take a picture, so I'm going to set it to four feet. And I'm going to attempt to take John's picture with his iPhone. Ready, John? I am ready.
Oh my God. Now, the, the bulb went off after the shutter fire. Yeah. So I think we probably have a misfire on our hands because I heard the, the shutter click and then, the, how about, and then the bulb went on off afterwards. How about if you take another one and leave the shutter open? That's a great idea. Aha. Uh -huh. ah. Worked that time. It did. I'm advancing to number two. There's number two. Take one more shot of jelly, just in case. Another bulb. This is called Press 25. Consult on the back of your flash. There's a little chart on the back of the flash of what bulbs you can use. So anyone out there is thinking, well, you know, these old timey cameras, you know, we can't use them. Bollocks. <laughs> of course you can. Take one more shot of John's iPhone. Ready, John? Yes. Smile. That's excruciatingly blinding. So, well, I'm going to take this camera outside and do some uh, exterior shots. Or if we see Mr. Lee, maybe I'll grab a shot with him. John, maybe he'll shoot me with me. Sure. And then uh, I'll post these images online with this little video. And uh, thanks for watching.